Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to the enchanting world of Montpellier, where the Winter Wonderland Festival is in full swing. Picture this, a vibrant tapestry of colors unfurling across the town square, laughter and music weaving through the crisp winter air. Gas lamps flicker to life, casting a warm glow over cobblestone paths, while the grand clock tower stands tall, its gears whirring softly like the heartbeat of the town. Stalls adorned with clockwork decorations beckon passersby, offering steaming cups of cocoa and handmade crafts. It's a scene straight out of a storybook, and trust me, you won't want to miss a moment of this magical journey. So buckle up, because this is just the beginning. Now, this reminds me of those classic tales where the characters are as vibrant as the setting itself. Meet Evelyn Evie Blackwood, standing amidst the festival's enchantment with her best friend, Oliver Thorne, and the fiery Lila O'Sullivan. Evie's bright green eyes sparkle with curiosity, framed by her tousled chestnut hair. But beneath her lively exterior lies the shadow of recent grief, the loss of her father. Yet, the festival stirs a flicker of hope within her. Oliver, with his sandy blonde hair and warm brown eyes, fiddles nervously with the scarf around his neck. The weight of his family's expectations looms over him, stifling his desire to share the stories that dance in his mind. And then there's Lila, with her mismatched clothing and fiery red hair, a rebellious spirit clashing with the town's traditions. She feels suffocated by expectations, her art a defiant expression against the norms. Together, they form a trio bound by shared dreams and unspoken fears, ready to uncover the truth behind the shimmering ornaments. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. As the sun dips below the horizon, the council members gather in the shadows, their faces etched with worry. Dressed in formal Victorian attire, they exchange glances, their whispers laced with concern about the spirit's influence that the ornaments seem to embody. Meanwhile, the children, oblivious to the council's unease, feel an inexplicable pull towards the enchanted ornaments. Their shimmering surfaces reflect not just light, but the hidden fears of the community. With each passing moment, the tension in the air thickens, a silent promise of the revelations to come. Evie, Oliver, and Lila exchange glances, their hearts heavy with unspoken fears, yet a shared resolve begins to blossom. They would uncover the truth behind the ornaments, a pact forged in the flickering light of the festival. The festival, a facade of joy, masks deeper struggles, and as the first notes of music fill the air, the children take a step closer to the shimmering ornaments, unaware of the magic and the danger that awaits them. All right, story lovers, as we wrap up this chapter, let's take a moment to reflect on the journey ahead. The Winter Wonderland Festival, with all its joy and laughter, hides deeper struggles beneath its vibrant facade. The music fills the air, and the shimmering ornaments beckon, holding secrets of magic and danger. Our trio, Evie, Oliver, and Lila, stand on the brink of a journey that will intertwine their fates with the very essence of their town. It's a tale of truth, courage, and the power of friendship. So, if you're as excited as I am to see where this adventure leads, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned to Storyteller for more. Until next time, keep dreaming and keep exploring.